Diet Coke was available in like yes, every right. country in the world. We sell Coke, do you know what I mean? <laughs> like we're not we're not living in, in the dark in seventeen ninety five. Hi everyone, welcome to part six of Unpopular Opinions and Random Rants. If you're interested in seeing more of these videos, I'll leave the link in the description box below. Let us know in the comments section if you agree or disagree with what's been said. If there's any other subject that you would like to hear us discuss, let us know in the comments section. If you've visited my channel before, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps my channel out. If you would like to see future videos, consider hitting the notification bell. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Don't forget to leave a comment. Enjoy the rest of the video. Being Scottish. Like, being Scottish isn't being the actual Scottish issue. Being Scottish is great. And that's not the thing we hate. <laughs> we no, don't hate being Scottish. But that's the thing that we hate, being Scottish. <laughs> no, um, it's what we touched on earlier about people, usually English people, saying to us, oh, speak proper English when you're talking English. Aye. But they, it's not even just Scottish people, it's people in England that aren't from London. Well, they get like, people that are from Newcastle or Liverpool, they can't understand them. A lot of people think that Scottish people hate English people. But in my experience, I do know Scottish people that hate English people, right? Mm -hmm. But in my experience, I know way more English people that hate Scottish people. And I see that a lot more on TV. I see it like in real Scottish life. Programs, in real but... life, I know a lot of English people that hate Scottish people yeah. more, and it's not even just that. Like, I was talking to somebody who was just being a complete dick on Facebook, and then I says to them like, "Why are you being a judgmental cunt?" And then they were going off their head because, like, in Scotland, right, we just use the word cunt oh. all the time, don't we? Like, I say, I it, say all it all the time. time, and it's not anything to me. It's not anything... It's not got any more power behind it than fuck or bastard or no, bitch. No, it's just a word. But like, maybe in America, it's like, whoa. Aye. Like, in Scotland, we'll say fanny, which is like a vagina, right? So we'll be like, why are you being a fanny? Like, stop being a fanny. So if I say cunt, to me, that's the same, because it's the same word. Yeah. And people get so offended by it, right? Aye, and there's that phrase, I'll kick your cunt in. Aye. And it doesn't even have meaning for us anymore, like... It doesn't have the strength, even though someone heard that directed at them in a bit powerful Scottish accent. You're like, uh, I'll kick your cunt. Like you, like you speak to your face. friends like that? Uh, you, say, you can say it in a jokey way. You don't uh, need to actually mean it as a threat. They'll just be like, oh, don't do that. I'll or you can say it in a way where, like, a lot of people will say, oh, he's a good cunt. I've never heard that, but like, okay. You see, like, you hear people say, no, oh, he's a good cunt, like, uh, yeah, right, in okay. a compliment kind mm -hmm. of way. Mm -hmm. That's not what I say, right? But, like, people are so offended by it. Mm. And then I had said that to somebody online and he says, oh, you're a Scot. That explains everything. And it's like, well, what does that mean? Mm. I'm a Scot. What does that mean? Like, what does that explain? Do you know what I mean? It's total discrimination. Mm. And then people... I'm on this Facebook page, right? And people who love Scotland and they mm. ask the stupidest questions like, Oh, my husband wants to know if they sell Diet Coke because he says if they don't sell Diet Coke in Scotland, he's not visiting. And it's like... Diet Coke is available in like yes, every country in the world. We sell Coke, do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, we're not, we're not living in, in the dark in 1795. I know. We've got Coke here. And then there was other people who were asking about, like, what kind of food... They had like haggis and all that, right? Mm -hmm. And somebody had says, oh, it's only ignorant Scottish tourists... They eat things like that. They don't eat things like that in Scotland. Mm. Like, they don't eat Scottish food. And I'm like, they don't eat steak pie. They don't eat seafood. They don't eat haggis. Like, obviously, I've, some people, right, around the world think that we just eat haggis, snakes and hatties every day. Mm. There's, there's people who eat haggis a lot. I don't know anybody who I've eats haggis I've never had that in my life, and I've met lots of people who have never tasted haggis that are Scottish. I know somebody who loves it, right, but they don't eat it all the time. No. I've had it maybe three times. And there are more restaurants now, I think, that do things with haggis in it, like a bit of haggis in a burger, uh, or little, like, breaded balls of haggis or something. And but... to be fair, it is more tourists that eat haggis because they want to try it. Mm. And then they find that it's not that bad, but we're all, like... There's lots of people that are Scottish that grow up thinking, oh, you eat haggis, or Aye. that's weird, oh, that's disgusting. But there's a it. lot of Scottish food that we eat, like steak pie Scottish. Mm -hmm. 
Do you know what I mean? Like we do eat a lot of stuff we like have that. A it's lot not only of seafood visit. restaurants. We're a small island. We eat a lot of seafood here. Aye. And yeah, we have a lot of steak pies and mince pies and potatoes. You know, like Ireland, we have a lot of potatoes. We have potatoes with almost every meal. And see as well, like when people, like everybody, I suppose to a certain extent, deals with discrimination when it comes to the nationality. Mm-hmm. Like, not just the race or religion or whatever, yeah, right? but, like, everybody get discriminated gets it. against in Europe because people think they'll have a stereotype in their heads of Americans. And One of the things about Scotland that maybe is joked about on British TV is that Scottish people are stingy and that they're so unhealthy. Like, a lot of jokes on and British... And aggressive. And aggressive, yeah. And they like to drink. Um, a lot of... I no, think the Scottish... I think the Scottish... <laughs> oh, you're so calm and... And quiet. Like no, but that. obviously, like, they think that all all Scottish people are aggressive. They swear a lot. They mm-hmm. drink a lot. Most jokes, if Scott. I do them. Um, I yeah. don't drink as much as what I used to, but I barely drink. I only drink when I go out, and yeah, I can drink a bit, but I be- I go months without drinking, and I eat fruit, and I don't do cocaine, and or I or they think uh, that there's there's people who think that everybody in Coat Bridge is either an ed or a junkie. Mm. Not everybody is. Aye, only some. There is... Only about 60%. There is a lot, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But Aye. not every single person. If you watch, like, British panel shows, any time that the subject of Scotland or Scottish people come up, it'll be, like, jokes about doing drugs and, you know, never seen a fruit in their life. Like, what What's fruit? You know what I mean? It's really bad jokes. I've heard a thousand times. It's the same one, so it's, like, a stereotype. Like, and when you go on holiday and then people will say, like... When I go to Vegas, right, people will always say, are you Irish mm-hmm. or Australian? Mm-hmm. Obviously, like, they just don't recognise the accent, right? Yeah. And then, see, if you, like, this doesn't happen all the time, but see, like, 90% of the time, no joke. Mm-hmm. Somebody will say, oh, you're Scottish. I've got Scottish ancestors. My cousin's name is, like, Shirley McGee. <laughs> Do you know her? <laughs> and it's like, well... Would you say that to a Mexican person? Like... Do they think it's not racist because they're talking to another white person? I know. Like, you're... It's like, if if I know somebody... I know somebody at at the moment, I know two people who live in Australia, right? See, if I met an Australian, (laughs) I would maybe say, oh, I know somebody who lives in Australia. (laughs) Full stop. I wouldn't turn around and go, oh, this is her name, do you know her? Like, Scotland isn't a street. I know. It's not the size of a street. You'd only say that if you knew they lived in the exact same place. See if they stayed in the same town. Mm. You'd be like that, oh, I know somebody who stays in that town. That's weird, isn't it? And oh, our name is this. You wouldn't even say it. You would just stop it there. That's Aye. their name. You wouldn't even say if you met her. They but people honestly think that because you live in Scotland, you know all their ancestors. People have literally messaged me on YouTube videos, mm. right, and emailed me. And they've said, oh, I've got Scottish ancestors. Could you get in contact with them? Well, how am I supposed to get in contact with them? It's not one little town. I can't, I, I can't like, skip down the street and chap on the door and be like... Your great great nieces on YouTube looking for you. <laughs> Do you want me to send a pigeon message over there? <laughs> know what I mean? I know. It's a country. I know, but they're used to like Scotland is like the size of smaller than one of their states. Do you know I, I mean? know, but it's not that small. They're used to driving like hours and hours and hours. If you drive hours, it will take us to another country. But then people obviously like they plan on coming here as well, and they'll show you like. They're planning where they're going and they'll be driving all around Scotland. Aye, in like five days and you're like, you could spend that amount of time in one city. Aye, you but could spend that amount of time going to like Glasgow and Edinburgh. If you go to Edinburgh, you shouldn't just go to Edinburgh Castle. There's way better things to do in Edinburgh. I see the castle, it's beautiful. Aye. But walk about, go to some shops, go to restaurants, there's beautiful scenery and there's great experiences you can do there in any city in Scotland. Aye. But maybe there's less to do in some cities, obviously, but... And the further up you go in Scotland, the more beautiful it gets. And but that's it's not thing. beautiful. That's everywhere. what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say, right? So you get people who make YouTube videos. There's this guy who, like, travels the world basically, right? And he makes mm. videos about traveling. There's a few channels I've seen doing it now, and there'll be like culture shocks of Scotland or things that will shock you about Scotland or surprise you, right? And what sort of things? And they're that? like, Scotland is beautiful. Everywhere you go, everywhere you go, Scotland is breathtaking. It's amazing. The nature's beautiful, right? Then they thought going to a mountainous island, they, it wouldn't be beautiful. I know, it's, but it's like, say for example... Have they not seen pictures before they went? I go to Vegas, right? And there isn't 
see how like, in actual like on the strip and that mm-hmm. they've got trees and stuff because they're, they're not allowed to like water their gardens and that so they've got rid of most of the grass mm. but in vegas the hotels obviously pay money to get water right so you'll you'll see grass and trees there but see when you go and you actually look out into the desert it's a desert yeah so obviously you're not going to see trees and grass there but when you come here there's trees and grass everywhere mm-hmm. there's mountains like even for my house i stay in a built-up area but I just look out there and there's mountains. Mm. And that that is that like that? Can you see mountains for you? But I see um the big road you drive up before you enter my state. Like the hill sort of thing. See if you stand on that at the very top. Aye. And it's a good visibility day. You can see all the mountains. And it is so pretty. Like I can see the campuses for here. Mm. And you can't see mountains for everywhere, right? But like many places you can see mountains. But the way they make it out in these videos is... Everywhere you go is breathtaking. Most of the shit is grey and it's Aye. bleak and it's depressing. Aye. That, why do you think people take cocaine? It's fucking depressing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem in Scotland, the amount of people that do that. And it's because they're fucking <laughs> depressed. They don't, you know, the people doing it aren't living up in Sky and in the rest. They're living in places like Cope Ridge and Dundee. And I know, but then it's boring up there as well. Aye, it's boring, but the type of people that choose to live that life usually don't do that. Because, like... The weather here's crap. It's hardly ever sunny, right? This is summer and we've had one day of sun. And obviously that's why we've got a lot of trees and grass because we've got a lot of rain. Mm. And when you go up to like Mull mm-hmm. or like one of the islands, I, I, of course it's going to be breathtaking because that's a tourist place. Because they've not touched it. It's not man-made. It's uh, natural beauty. It's just natural. It's gorgeous. But when you go into a built-up area like Glasgow, right? Glasgow and Edinburgh are totally different. Edinburgh, I personally... Don't really like Edinburgh that much. I prefer Glasgow to Edinburgh, but if you like older stuff and the city's really like tight and crammed and like stairwells everywhere and cobble streets, Aye. is Glasgow is more of the nightlife, city life sort of art cultural centre Aye. of Scotland. That is, even though but it's also a got like. Edinburgh's like mostly older buildings, but Glasgow's a mix between new buildings and old buildings. It's got Glasgow's like amazing architecture as well, but it's mixed in with a lot of modern stuff. But when you go into like Coat Bridge or like actual towns where people live, mm. not posh towns, right? Just actual towns. It's not beautiful. It, it's the opposite. It looks shit. It looks horrible. It's like everywhere that you go, there's going to be bits that's a dump, and it annoys me when people go or oh, when you go to Scotland everything's going to blow your mind, everything's all natural and amazing and mm. it's like, well, no, it's not like that everywhere. But my bit looks quite nice just because there's a woods area next to it. Aye. It's not anything special. And you walk to Airdrie, where I live, and it's shite. There's no sh- good shops. Like, Aye, Airdrie's have like even worse than Coat Bridge. At least Coat Bridge has a, a retail park with good shops and then a sort of half shitty main street. Um, like, so it's like, don't come to Scotland and then expect to go where the people live and look for your ancestors. I know, you'll and find day, a beautiful, a beautiful wee cul-de-sac, because that's not what it's like in One day, 